Hi everybody, welcome back to another session on SAP S for HANA. This session is a bit of a renew of a, a session that I did earlier on uh, S for HANA sales and distribution. If you'd like to see that session, it's in my list of uh, videos if you want to take a look. But this is really just an update on that to show some of the new apps that have come out in this space. So obviously, um, we have a lot of simplification around the tables and everything else. Uh, feel free to watch my other session on that if you want to see more information. What I really wanted to show here was some of the newer apps in this space, and particularly some of the nice new overview apps um, for from a sales point of view and the applications we have around the actual delivery side as well from obviously the distribution point of view. So let's get started on uh, some of these overview apps. As you can see here, we've got two new apps. One is a management overview. And what the management overview allows us to do is really from a profitability point of view and also uh, kind of obviously a management point of view, see what's going on. So we can see the, uh, the profit uh, margin here. And of course, we could drill down into that. I can see incomplete sales orders and everything else. I can also see uh, you know, who, which orders are on credit block, so a kind of management type view. But if we look at that from a sales rep point of view, from a sales overview, we can go into this for my sales overview. And this allows me to see a bit more information about you know customer contact information, people I might want to call, what returns I've got and things like that. I can also see my sales orders and how they're tracking and everything else, my pipeline. And I've also got some nice links to uh, create new sales orders and things like that as well here straight away. But I could also, from here, I can drill down into these sales orders. So for instance, if I drill into my sales orders here, I can see all my sales orders, what status they're in. And of course, I can filter at the top here by their status, you know, in process, open, closed, whatever it happened to be. Um, but I can also take action on it, which is great. So I can select either one or multiple, or in fact, all uh, of my sales orders. And when I do that, I can actually take action on them uh, by changing them and things like that. Um, but I can also, of course, drill straight into them as well. If I click on this, I can go into the detail. And this is the, the kind of GUI view of the sales order. So, of course, it shows us all that detail that we're used to from the, uh, from the traditional views that we have. And of course, um, I can just exit that and come straight back to my list view here, which is great. So we've got some nice new uh, apps, both overview, of course, going down into that detail all in one spot. If I want to create a new sales order, of course, I've got my, my link on my overview as well. So I'm, I have to go somewhere else to, to find it. Um, if I'm worried about issues with my sales orders, I can go into them. I can look at where the fulfillment is um, having problems, basically. And we looked at this in the last session as well. So, you know, where we have issues issues in order so we can actually see um, you know ones that have got problems with things like the item itself pricing in supply where we're actually supplying the item and delivery of course uh, and, and so on so uh, again we can drill down into those find out what the problem is and obviously rectify that issue so all these apps that we saw before there but uh, some nice of these new overview apps have been added to help us to navigate to it if I want to create a new sales order, so let's go back there uh, and click on this, we get the traditional view, uh, very similar to what well, is actually the, the VA01 create sales order application. Uh, and if you've ever used sales orders before, I'm sure you're very familiar with, with what that looks like. But what I wanted to show you uh, a little bit in here is the new sales order apps that have been released. I did actually get a question about this uh, on one of my videos. So let's uh, take a look at that now. If we're going to the search um, option here, I'll search for applications and create sales order, of course. And you'll notice here I've got three options. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got the, the create sales order one, which we just looked at, which is basically the same as the old transaction VA01. I also have a new create sales order app, and this one is essentially doing the same thing, but has been made to look a little bit more Fiori-like in terms of we now have selection boxes and buttons as opposed to just fields. So here I can select my order type, uh, go into that, click on create. It will start the sales order creation process. I can start to add and do that kind of googly type search in here which we all know and love now and we can select that and of course it will start to fill in the rest of the information as i do that just as the gui app does but obviously i didn't need to click or press anything it's just doing that as i go uh, if i can now click on items i can now go and add my items in here and again i can do my uh, type of googly type search in here uh, and so on and so on so it's very similar to what we had before but um obviously just a bit more gooey uh, sorry a bit more fury uh, related in that one 
And the new um, one as well, if I just go back to my search here, going to create from sales order is the new fast entry type. And again, this is a Fury app, which we can use to create sales orders in the same way as before. Uh, the difference is things are a little bit more defaulted. So again, I can just uh, start to type in immediately my, um, my uh, customer here, which is great. Go straight down to new item and start to type in my, my product or material, or whatever you want to call it in there. And then add one of those click on add to items and what will happen is it will basically start to add those below and then all I need to do is when I've added all my new items is hit save and off we go so very very quick nice quick and easy easy application to use and that'll push it through to a sales order ultimately all three are doing exactly the same thing they're just slightly different uh, variations on a the theme um, some people like to use the old GUI type VA01 because it gives them more detail some people like the fast entry screen uh, it, it really is a personal choice in terms of which one you want to use so as well as sales, obviously, we've got some new um, delivery apps as well. So we can look at delivery performance in here now. That allows me to go in and I can start to see how my deliveries are actually being processed. Now, obviously, we could see this before on the, the delivery issues in terms of are any, is anything being held up and things like that. But what this one allows me to see is performance of my deliveries here. How are my deliveries actually being, um, being executed? Are they being executed on time? Delivery is requested and all those types of things. So I can actually now drill into this and see exactly what's going on across all those different metrics, average delay uh, by material, so on and so forth. And of course, um, if I want to see any individual sales orders in detail, I can do that again using the bottom here if I want to. So nice new app showing delivery performance. But we also have the old, uh, of course, we need to uh, get the deliveries out of the door and uh, get them picked and packed and everything from the warehouse. So here we have a nice new app around manage outbound deliveries. So we can select that. Uh, and what we can see again is a, um, a filter across the top. So I could put in a particular shipping point or a status of where it is. So for instance, if I change that for uh, ready for picking, I can select that and what it will do is it will show me all the deliveries that have been created but have not yet been picked. And of course, I've got quite a few in here uh, that have been posted, looks like quite a long time ago, some of these, but have not yet actually um, gone out as such. So what I can do is a number of things. I can select them, actually some of these returns so i don't want to play with those um and, and obviously do the picking or i could do a selection here and do a post goods issue or reverse uh, just like before a selection of all or a single one and um, if i just click on the line it will show me the detail of that delivery and i can see um, the items that are due for picking again this one's very old uh, in here what was supposed to be picked and everything else and again i can go down into even further detail of this and see um, more information on that outbound delivery if I, in fact, this case, the item itself, including things like serial numbers and everything else that happens to be uh, on this particular um, item or product in the solution. So, uh, but of course, if I just want to go pick it, so let's say I'm actually working in the warehouse, and again, remember, we can do this on a, on a, on a tablet or iPad or anything else, I can simply Okay, so let's let's pick one. Uh, this one's actually been partially processed, which means it's halfway through picking. So I can actually see here that one item um, has been picked, and I can see the process, obviously, picking goods issue, and I can see that the second item has been picked. The first item has not been picked. Um, so, of course, I could um, simply pick that now by adding the pick quantity in here, and um, that's where we finish with that one really in terms of saving it and uh, completing it again i could drill down into it and see more if i want to it's just a matter of uh, going through the process once everything's been picked of course um i could if i wanted to say okay um everything is uh, ready for uh, ready for confirmation or being picked depending on or ready for goods issue if even everything that's actually happened and, and been picked ready for goods issue i can actually select these items again or select them all and actually post the goods issue on them if i don't want to go and check them out or do anything else so um, a new outbound delivery app there allows us to see you know, what's going on from a delivery point of view. So just wanted to quickly show some of these new applications that we have within the solution around the sales and distribution space. I hope you found that useful. Um, please feel free to, to like and subscribe to my, uh, my channel. Thanks very much for listening. Thank you.